Hey guys, welcome to my first tutorial. Just thought it'd be interesting to do a piece just using uh, VSL instruments and uh, no other samples, so I thought that'd be fun. And then also in part, so in part one I was going to go through the template that I set up for that, uh, my orchestral template. And then in part two, we're going to get into doing the actual piece, so... So it should be fun. So anyway, let's get into the instruments here in the template. As you know, the VSL instruments are fairly dry, so first we're going to talk about the reverb chain that I use. Okay, so there are two buses. One of them goes to the hall, which is the Valhalla reverb. and um, I'm going to keep the pre-delay to zero. You know, if you've ever been to listen to an orchestra, you've heard that you're pretty much hearing the room sound. You're not, because you're not right, like, close mic'd on the instrument, you know what I mean? I mean, it, it's a different approach, but there are two different approaches. I mean, you can have that close mic sound mixed with the room sound, which is a lot of what you hear when you hear um, film recordings. And then I also have the QL spaces, the Quantum Leap spaces. I use the Acme storage, which is a smaller room sound. So I think it, the combination of the two gives you a nice sort of dimension to the sound. Gives it a little more life to the Vienna instrument. So I have the dry signal turned down because I'm just using this on the, uh, the aux track. So yeah, I have two aux tracks for the, for the reverb there. And I think that that gives the sound. You can hear it. I'll, I'll demonstrate it here for the uh, the flute. And I'm just using a, a single instances of of the instruments here. I so why don't I use the Vienna Ensemble? Well, because basically when I'm doing music and I need to say I needed a couple flutes, you know, you know, I I. Instead of like create a new instrument, I just hit the command D, right? And it gives me another flute legato. So, you know, if you had the whole ensemble there, it would give you the whole ensemble. And, you know, you don't want that all the time. So for me, it's a quicker way to work because my templates usually aren't that big anyway. So that's why I do it that way, if that makes sense. So I'm just using individual instances of the Vanny Instrument Pro for each thing. So I have the legato here. Um, for that. And then I have a staccato version of the same thing. And so, yeah, and for staccato I don't use I'm using the mod wheel to control the legato, but for staccato I like to use the, you know, the, the velocity sensitivity of, of the, you know, from the keyboard, because I feel like that's more natural than using the mod wheel for staccato for short notes. So I have that. So it's just pretty much set up like normal orchestral um, order here, you know, with the woodwinds, and then I have the brass and the harp, and then some melodic percussion, which includes piano as well. And we'll get into all that, percussion and strings, but let's get back to the woodwinds. So I have a piccolo flute, legato, staccato. Then I have the flute, legato, staccato, oboe. Now, if you notice, I also have these panned, you know, d depending on, you know, I like to sort of model it after the actual orchestra. So if you look at the the mixer here, you can see how my winds are panned. You know, flutes on the left here a little bit. Uh, double reeds on the right. Stuff like that. You know, pretty much sticking with you, you know, how it looks on a, your regular 
orchestral setup. You know, it varies actually for between different orchestras. A lot of times they'll set things up a little differently. So it's it's kind of a preference thing, but I like to make it more realistic that way. So I have the oboe, then we have English horn here, right? Staccato. Clarinet legato. Gotta love the VSL clarinet, right? Staccato. Bass clarinet legato. Staccato. So all these winds are pretty much ordered the same way. Bassoon legato. Legato. Contrabassoon. Legato. Staccato. Okay, so that's the winds. Then we have the brass. Epic horns. Now this is, for the most part, I'm just using the special edition, uh, which is a cross section of the whole orchestra for VSL instruments. But I wanted to, I, I also got the epic horns here, so I wanted to have them in there because it sounds so great. So I have those. <laughs> Even low like that, so they sound good. But what I like is even at low volumes, they have a really kind of rich sound. You know, mostly for single lines. And then staccato, of course. But it's kind of, you got to be careful using staccato. If you think about it, you have eight horns here and you do, you know, two note chord, you're going to get 16 horns. So that's kind of crazy. So, so that's why I also have the four horn staccato in here. A little more realistic when you're using, you know, two note chords or whatever. Still, you're at eight horns, but. And then I have the solo trumpet. Staccato. And this is the group of trumpets, which I think is three. Let's check that. I'm pretty sure it's three, but let's take a look anyway. Yeah, so three horns together. Uh, three trumpets, rather. And the uh, staccato, which is really nice here. Then we have the trombone legato. Trombones, actually. That's a group of three. Staccato. And the bass trombone legato. Trombone staccato. Okay, tuba. Tuba staccato. OK, 
Okay, and then, so that's it for the brass. Then we have the harp. Okay. I like the VSL harp. It's a little softer than other sample library harps. Okay, so then after the harp we have melodic percussion which includes the piano. And then the uh, chalice here. And the way I have it is uh, with the mod wheel you can go from a harder hit to a like that to a softer hit. And then the uh, Glock Glockenspiel. Then the uh, xylophone. Vibraphone. For the vibe, actually, also, you can go motor off with the mod wheel down, then when the mod wheel's up, the motor is on. So you can hear that. Okay, and then the marimba. Okay, so that's it for melodic percussion. On to percussion. Timpani hits. Okay. Timpani rolls using the mod wheel for velocity crossfade. And, and with the VSL, there's a hit at the end of the roll. So you have to kind of time that. Snare drum. For the snare roll, this is actually part of, the, the thing about this is, since it's the, uh, since it's the special edition, we, uh, all the drums are together, so, I think C sharp is the snare roll here, yep, so uh, C sharp above middle C. And then we have the bass drum. And then the bass drum roll, I think, is also the C sharp below that. Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, and then chimes. And uh oh, you can use the sustain pedal to hold them out. Right? That's the same with the vibraphone, with the sustain pedal. Cymbals and gongs. that low C there, you can see that. The Chinese gong, the, the low one there. Then we have the little cymbal rolls. Then various percussion, which is just, you know, that kind of stuff. Castanets, chimes, things like that. Uh, anvil. Okay, now on to the strings. Okay, the violin one. Okay, the first violin section is the orchestral samples, so. And then I have the staccato here. Now for the second violin section, I use the chamber strings 
which is not part of the special edition, but I like to like it because it's a different size section, so it's six players as opposed to ten. So I like that, having that combination of the two. For example, if you do, let's do a little uh, example here. Okay, so then you, so I have that. So if I combine that with the orchestral, we get this. So I like having that flexibility and uh, different colors mixed together there. You can do the same with, if you do something with legato. So for example, So then let's let's do it now with the chamber. So it gives it a different character. Okay, moving on. Viola. And the viola staccato. Okay, cello legato. Staccato. Bass legato. Here we go. Staccato. Now, for another thing I want to mention is for staccato, I usually use the performance repetition spiccato because I like that it has the, uh, um, you know, round robin samples here, as opposed to the staccato, which only has I think two samples that it works with. So I like using that for most of the instruments, um, with the exception of maybe oboe, some double reeds. They're a little too short, the spiccato, so I like to use the staccatos. Anyway, so that's it pretty much for the setup here. So for part two, we're going to look at the actual piece that I'm going to compose and, and uh, record using this template. Okay, so see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.